Good morning, sir. Good morning, ma'am. Spiritual food delivery. Our spiritual food for today is taken from the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse 3. But fornication and all uncleanness or covetousness, let it not even be named among you as is fitting for saints. Where then do these temptations come from? First of all, they do not come from God, although He does allow them. James chapter 1, verse 13 say, For God cannot be tempted by evil, and He Himself does not tempt anyone. Even in Old Testament times, there was variety of cultures, and each had its own value system. Israelites worship God alone, but other nations worship many gods, from the stars to the sun and the moon and anything. Their lives were polluted with all kinds of immorality. God knew if Israel disobeyed Him, their moral and spiritual purity would be compromised. Paul discussed the same subject in Ephesians and instructed members of the early church to be imitators of God. As seen in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 3, Paul's instruction was clear. There was not to be even a fraction of impurity among them. We're surrounded by temptation. Most of it comes to you in quiet ways. What you watch, what you hear, what you do when no one else is around. Satan's goal is not only to pollute God's creation. He wants to destroy your witness for Christ. As a believer, we are no longer bound by sin's power. Our Lord Jesus Christ put an end to sin's reign at Calvary. In sight, we must no longer think as the world thinks or walk in the same way that the world walks. Romans chapter 12, verse 2 And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Reflections We need to avoid the path of the world that leads us into temptation because our flesh is weak. Don't hesitate to call out Jesus Christ's name whenever we face temptation of any kind. He promised to provide us escape. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. Hope you find our spiritual food so tasty. Till next time, your delivery man of God, Pastor Robel Maranyon. God loves you.